everyone, Sandy here. Welcome to my channel. Greetings everyone. Salam alaikum. Nangade. Hope all is well. Well, just wanted to jump on to update you on what should have been my journey to the Gambia. Um, well, as you know, from if you watch my videos, you would have saw the video yesterday where I'm very disappointed that the UK government has now said that all flights coming into the UK have to now quarantine. So it was bad enough that there's the possibility that will happen in Banjo Airport. Um, let alone coming back home as well. So, <clears throat> on the back of that, I have decided that I'm going to have to cancel my trip to the Gambia and reschedule, hopefully, for the Easter, which will be late March, um, beginning of April. For but let's extend it to two weeks because, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I only booked to go for a week. But, I mean, today, after yesterday, after yesterday's news, I woke up this morning. Well, I didn't even want to get out of my bed. I was so disheartened, so disappointed um, that this virus, right, this thing, it's taken over my life. It's con it's, it's at, it is controlling me. I, 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 you know, I, I'm, I'm not free to go and do what I need to do. You know, and it's very disappointing. Um, I've never been upset about not being able to go on a holiday before, right? This is the extent of how I feel. Because even last year, August, I had to cancel my holiday to Jamaica, which wasn't only going to be a holiday. I was supposed to be getting married last year, August. And um, that was cancelled, obviously, because of the COVID. And it was going to be abroad in Jamaica. And that was cancelled. And I wasn't even that upset, to be honest. I wasn't, I wasn't that upset. But this morning, I was really upset to the point that tears was rolling down my eyes. I won't lie, tears was rolling down my eyes because me going to the Gambia, right, to sort out what I need to do, what I've invested in, um, it wasn't even going to be just a holiday, a normal trip. This to me, it was a spiritual thing. It was the beginning of my spiritual journey on the motherland, you know, my, my own piece of the motherland, you know, it was the beginning of a spiritual journey. And if you can understand that, you know, I'd appreciate you. Please do make a comment if you understand me. And I, cry, I, I cried, I cried this morning, I couldn't believe it. I woke up this morning with that on my mind that I couldn't go. So it brought me to tears, you know, and my eyes might look a bit puffy now because, yes, I have been crying and I'm, I've got no shame in admitting it, you know, um, really disappointed. I'm sick and tired of these elite, these rich people just, just making money out of people, you know. I mean, people have their COVID tests. It comes out negative. You go and you have your flight. That was the requirement of you going on the flight. And then you land somewhere and then they want to quarantine you. That doesn't make no sense. It's all a money-making thing. It's money-making, right? And we, the people, are the ones that are on the receiving end of suffering with all this. We pay big money just to get a test and then they want to quarantine you where you have to pay the bill to stop in hotels. It's well out of order. It's well out of order. You know, and I'm really, I'm sick and tired of it. 
I can't wait to get out of this West and this, this horrible lifestyle, this horrible um, money-making stuff, you know? Really disappointed. So, you know, send me some positive energy, anything positive, please just send it to me. Send it to me, because right now I do need some upliftment. And, um, yeah. You know, when you're just really looking forward to do something and going somewhere or whatever, and, and through no fault of your own, it gets stopped because of some stupid rule as well. It's not even a, like, it's not even... Just it doesn't justify it doesn't justify you know had it been just for the covid test right that would have been no problem happy to just take that test pay the money and be able to land in the country and go about my business and do what i need to do but the sanctions in the, in um gambia where i could be taken to a hotel to quarantine and then on my way back to come back home and land in england to have the same, to face the same thing again, and to be have to pay all these bills is too much. It's too much for someone to bear, you know. And I'm really, really disappointed. I'm really, really upset, really upset. But anyway, I'm gonna have to just knock myself out of this. I haven't been out the house yet. I haven't even had breakfast. It's now um, quarter to one in the afternoon, I haven't had nothing to eat. I had just a cup of hot, hot lemon water, that's all, which I like to have first thing in the morning to sort of clear my system a bit. I've had that and um, anyway, I'm going to call up Tui, call up the airline and, and try and transfer my flight to a later date around the Easter and um, try and set something else and set another goal. Um, but come what may, they ain't stopping me, you know, the nah stop me from coming. Gambia, I am coming regardless, right? Maybe delay, but I am going to be there. I'm going to be there. So I just wanted to jump on and let you know how I'm feeling. So right now I'm just not feeling too good. But I'm going to try and snap out of it and, um, you know, try and enjoy my day. You know, I want to thank Sister Jalika for the chat this morning. I called her because I should be stopping by her. And she's been so, so good. You know, she's been golden. golden. Bless you, my sister. Really do bless you. You know, um, that, have, that has, it, it had helped me having that chat because... You know, it's just nice to talk to people that you know um, are going through the same thing. So if you're going through the same thing, if you, if you are longing to go somewhere and you, you, you've been disappointed because of this stupid COVID, right, please do comment down below. Let me know. Let me know your feelings. Let's, let's console each other, you know. But this is just, it's just out of order now. This is all about control. And right about now, they are controlling me because I can't go. So they've, they've won in, in that sense, right? But they ain't going to win forever because I will be going, you know? So I'm going to, I'm going to have myself some breakfast. I'm going to have myself something. And then I'm going to take myself outside into the fresh air and have a walk to try and perk myself up a bit. And then I'm going to come back. I've been trying to, called the airline earlier on but it's just permanently engaged and there was a message to say they're dealing with people who are looking to travel within a week and mine is supposed to be two weeks so maybe they're so busy trying to deal with those people cancelling and transferring their dates um, so I'll try a bit later and uh, see what happens then but yeah keep please do follow my journey keep following me and um, I would give you the updates on my new dates and um, when I'm going to be going again, you know, but yeah, please do like, subscribe, share as well, share. And um, please, I like to read the comments, so 
please don't just watch. If you've got an opinion, if you've got a comment, please do comment down below. Even if it's just a small one, just comment down below because I like to read the comments and I do respond. So um, please do comment down below and, um, and subscribe. You know, so for those of you who have been following my journey from day one and you subscribe from day one, I wholeheartedly thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jerry Jeff, Jerry Jeff, for, um, you know, for, for subscribing, you know, because I do want to build up my numbers and I do want to get more followers. So please do like, subscribe, follow, share, etc., etc. And um, most of all, please do comment. Yeah, so on that note, I wish you all a wonderful day. And, um, Keep your spirits up, no matter what. Always, never, ever give up on your dreams. All right, so I'm, so I'm take that advice to myself. So from then, I'd like to wish you all the best for today. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And it's always from me. It's always love coming from the heart, wholeheartedly coming from the heart. Peace and blessings. Ashe, ashe. Bye-bye.